This is David Petrosky, attorney. Today I'm going to be talking about the end of the LA County eviction moratorium, which is long overdue and very good news for Los Angeles County landlords. First, a disclaimer. The rules surrounding landlord-tenant law in California and in LA County do change uh, from time to time and this video might not be updated to reflect the most current rules. Please check with legal counsel before deciding on a course of action that would be most appropriate to you. A little bit about myself. I'm a five-star attorney. I represent a landlord since 2004. I'm a published author and a referral source for realtors, landlords, and attorneys, and we get results. Of course, however, there are never any guarantees of any success. Okay, so now to the LA County eviction moratorium. Well, the good news for Los Angeles County landlords is that the LA County eviction moratorium ends on March 31st, 2023. Keep in mind, however, there might be other restrictions at the local level or state level regulating the ability to evict a tenant. So it's always very important to check with the local level and the state level to see if there are any local restrictions in effect. For example, many cities, such as LA in particular, created many, many vast tenant protections recently, which will limit the ability to evict tenants in the city of LA, even on single family homes. There's other local jurisdictions as well that have tenant protections, including West Hollywood, Pasadena, Santa Monica, Beverly Hills, Culver City, and, and many more. So number one, check the local level the local jurisdiction to see if there are any special tenant protections in effect. Number two, check to see if AB 1482, which is a California law, applies to your rental property. That's codified in Civil Code 1946.2, which discusses evictions and, and the ability to evict a tenant um, from a property, and Civil Code 1947.12, which regulates rent increases for properties subject to AB 1482. So, I discuss AB 1482 along with exemptions from AB 1482 um, on this YouTube channel. You can search for the videos on that. I've also posted several articles on my blog, attorneydavid.com slash blog, that talks about AB 1482 and exemptions. So double check the local level, double check the state AB 1482, see if you're subject to any of those laws or not. Now, if you are not subject to AB 1482 and there's no local restrictions in effect, then hallelujah, you can now evict your tenant without just cause, assuming you're on a month-to-month -month tenancy. Uh, if the tenant has been there less than a year, you can give them a 30-day notice to terminate tenancy. If they've been there for more than a year, you'd want to give them a 60-day notice to terminate tenancy. And to reiterate, if there are no local restrictions and the property is exempt from AB 1482, then you don't have to have a just cause reason. Uh, on the other hand, if there are local restrictions or if the property is subject to AB 1482, you'll need to follow those rules, have a just cause reason to evict, and likely pay relocation money if the reason for eviction is one of the allowable no-fault reasons. If the tenant is violating a term of the rental agreement, you can use a three-day notice to cure or quit, and if the tenant's not paying the rent, you can use a three-day notice to pay or quit. Now, there are some leftovers from the LA County eviction moratorium that landlords need to be aware of. Number one, if the tenant in LA County availed themselves of the non-payment protections, meaning they notified the landlord within seven days that they couldn't pay rent because of some financial reason related to COVID and that they were at or below 80% of the area median income, for example, if they did that during this COVID moratorium period in LA County, then they are still go, uh, going to still be protected from no-fault evictions during that repayment period. Keep that in mind. Uh, number two, if the tenant um, hasn't paid rent in, in the past, but they never claimed a COVID hardship, but the landlord just didn't want to uh, begin an eviction for non-payment of rent during the moratorium period, if the landlord wants to give the tenant a non-payment of rent notice for any rent that was due between July 1st, 2022 through March 31st, 2023, so that was during this COVID eviction moratorium period, the landlord would have to first use a 30-day notice to cure or quit instead of the regular three-day notice to pay or quit. Again, this is only if, number one, the tenant did not avail themselves of the COVID repayment protections during COVID, 
And number two, the landlord wants to demand rent uh, that incurred during that period of time. If the tenant did avail themselves of the non-payment protections, then the tenant will get extra time to repay that past due rent. Landlord won't be able to move forward with that non-payment case right now. If you have any questions about that or, or need additional clarity, you can always schedule a call with us. We can go over your particular situation. Uh, another leftover from the LA County eviction moratorium is that if a tenant brought in an unauthorized occupants or a pets during COVID, and uh, as a result of that uh, LA County eviction moratorium, the landlord wasn't able to evict for those reasons during the moratorium period. Well, starting April 1st, if a landlord wants to evict a tenant for unauthorized occupants or pets whose presence was necessitated by or related to COVID-19, then instead of the regular three-day notice to cure or quit, the landlord will have to use a 30-day notice to cure or quit. So keep that in mind. Uh, I encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel and view all the many videos that we provide for landlords. I also encourage you to look at our blog, www.attorneydavid.com slash blog. We post a lot of articles uh, for landlords. They're geared uh, particularly uh, to landlords with some best practices, tips and trip, uh, tricks. So read through that blog. If you have particular questions about an eviction, what you can or can't do, you can schedule a phone call with us, attorneydavid.com. There is a button that you can click on there to schedule a phone call with us. Also follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter. We do post updates on evictions regularly. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.